Joining us now for the interview is Governor Michelle Luan Grisham from the great state of New Mexico. Governor, it's a real honor to have you here tonight. I have a ton to ask you about. I'm really glad that you made the time. Well, thank you, Rachel. I appreciate uh, the opportunity. Nice to talk with you. Let me just let me just ask you first about um, the epidemic in your state, the, some of the information that I just gave about Gallup and where the crisis has been so difficult there and within the Navajo Nation. Can you just give our viewers um, a, a broad strokes picture of what's going on with the epidemic in your state and in the, some of those real hot spots that you're still contending with? Yeah, and I hope you don't mind. I'm going to uh, correct actually something about Gallup. There are two hospitals Good. in Gallup. Uh, there's the Gallup Indian uh, Health Center, Medical Center, and they've got acute care beds and critical care beds. There are aftercare sites that we've built in Gallup and Rehoboth. And Rehoboth is a private rural hospital that's long been troubled and is now under direct management and support by the state of New Mexico. And uh, I feel very confident that the uh, men and women who are on the front lines providing incredible care are getting what they need. Uh, they're amazing. And part of our plan in New Mexico all along has been to move patients to hospitals in Albuquerque, Santa Fe, and in areas where you've got much higher percentages, right, to serve the population in critical care, acute care, and ICU settings. And so that's always been part of our plan. And you're right, some days we were seeing two patients transferred an hour from the northwestern part of the state. So what is wow. going on? Wow. What's going on is the Navajo Nation, and we sounded the alarm to the White House um, months ago about the impact on sovereign nations, lack of testing by Indian Health Services, which I'm going to really defend them. The federal government's not giving them what they need either and have long underfunded Indian Health. So what do you have? You have intergenerational families living hundreds of miles from food, water, health care services, just the basics. You've got children and elders and working family members in very tight quarters, which is ripe for having containment issues that you can't get your arms around. And in fact, I wanna give a shout out to the Navajo Nation. Both the council and the Navajo Nation president have been good partners and really effective leaders by having some of the strictest stay at home orders and curfews in the country. And we're seeing a flattening uh, in Gallup and in that's in McKinley County and in San Juan County uh, as a result. And we're seeing the transmission rates finally beginning to decline, but we are not out of the woods in Indian country, around this country, in Indian country, in New Mexico, and not in uh, the Navajo Nation either.